race to eight. And the names coming up tomorrow were lip smacking. Chris Mason, the Enfant Terrible. Adrian Lewis, the Enfant Terrible. Bonnie Veldon Taylor. What? A couple of days to look forward to. Yeah, what some draws we could have in the early games tomorrow. Let's see. Steve here needs to get into uh, a rhythm. Steve Beaton is a no, rhythm says. player. Very quick with each start. He, he, there's Keith throw. And now uh, let's see what he does with this one. 81. A bit more control over that. Frozen. His shoulder sometimes dips. Yeah, sometimes the chin is out of sync with the arm and the wrist. Lovely second dart by... 84. Yeah, Steve has got a basic throw as it can be. Very straight back, straight forward. Keep it straight and it can't go a lot wrong. Keith, as he lets go of his dart, seems to stand up high. You can see there that the, the wrist would flick the dart. A lot of times he pull, gets it in, but uh, it's not a good consistent throw. Lovely dart, considering the blocker dart. 104. Two beauties round it. And uh, beaten average of 96 to Dallas 80. And beaten favourite for this third leg. Yeah, Keith has got to hit 140 here to put the pressure on. He won't enjoy them too. 67. Good pick with his last start. Steve, Steve on 80. 80. Closed the leg off to go 2 1 up against the throw. Strange way he's gone for 48. That will lift him 32. Obviously, he can first 32 at the tops. 138 did for Bristol in that classic 83 final World Championship. 2.14s to reel back the year. Yeah, I think Steve, Steve Beaton would have 30 been 30. cursing himself if Keith had taken it out. Two darts. Yeah, he close out. Steve he Peter. would have been cursing himself if he had missed that. Like Not going through 2020 tops. Give on. That is for the Mason and Megan of a classic, this one. Called in both their world titles. Beaton looking brilliant on that 60. Wax his average up to 95. Let's keep hearing you. Tap in dots. Then your message. 46. 8 4. 4 oh, 1. Notice it. Yeah, good last start there from Beaton. He's uh, got a good lead in here. A lot of good Texas coming through for all the players. None for the commentators, though, Sid. <laughs> oh, guys! How with his snakes at the moment? That's Colin Lloyd, your lad. You know the Brentshaw Rugby Club lot? Yeah, that's not far from where Colin lives. Uh, we're wishing him all the best, and uh, certainly there'll be a few other people got their fingers crossed for him tomorrow, including me and my family. 100. Top of there, works with the emergency services. Might have some work cut out. Yes, beaten clatters that red bit. 140. Steve seems to have a very good rhythm going. The, the same consistency of each dart thrown, the same time. And uh, if Keith doesn't keep an eye on him, he could run away with this. Lionel Air, Lionel Sams. So we've got the nation watching. Best of luck to all here from the Sky Commentary team. Keep watching till the deep dark hours on Sunday night, folks. 47. Yeah, Steve just setting it up. Keith on 215. Just needs to get a big score to try and put some sort of pressure on Steve Beaton here. He's been slightly snatching the dart as he said. Seven for Beaton to go. Say command in, put a cushion here. 288. Clean as our whistle. Della under pressure here in Bolton. Yeah, this is a major leg now coming up for Keith. He's got the throw, he's got to win this leg. Beaton nicks this, he'll be two breaks down, and Steve in this rhythm and this performance, big problems. Easy. Mentioning another action at the moment. Look like Wes Newton, who got the semi finals in Las Vegas last year. Three, and Rio O'Neill, two. Good play, O'Neill. Yeah, very good player, big solid man. Good throw, solid action. Certainly would rather play him at darts and fight him. He's uh, it's a big lad. 
Wes Newton from Fleetwood, not far from Blackpool. Good young man. Did well in Vegas last year, semi-final place. One of the up-and-coming youngsters with Adrian Gray. And one of those texts mentioned, Wadey, James Wade. Recent ninth daughter, man. Very talented player. Could be in the mix. Saturday and Sunday night, folks. The big 32. Join this lot. Cream of this lot. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Yeah, that's a low dart from Steve. He'll have to come down. He'll probably go for 18s. 57. Yeah, good switch there, although he didn't hit the treble. Sensible percentage shot. Here we have Keith. Della in the bed. Very short points. No, he sharp them. Didn't seem to have as much bounce out trouble as he used to, though, Rod. No, the bounce outs nowadays are very far and few between. Good pick.